of the shots as the senior officer at the scene. So joining us right now is Karen Conti from Conti Law. And we want to talk a little bit more about this case. Karen, thanks so much for joining us. First of all, let's talk about the jury and the makeup. It took one day to pick that jury, which is pretty quick. It was very quick. Federal court judges are known to uh, pick juries very quickly. And as you compare it to the Chauvin case, which took about two weeks, this was a very quick selection process. The jury is from kind of all over the state. And uh, it's not a very diverse jury, really. 11 women, seven men, all white except two Asians. Should there be a black person on there, you think, considering the fact well, that George Floyd was black? I'm sure that the family and I'm sure a lot of people have a problem with that because you're supposed to be tried by a jury of your peers. And, you know, for the cross section of that community, I would assume is very white uh, from the statistics that I've read. So unfortunately, this is what it is. But hopefully people can put aside whatever prejudices and do a good job and decide the evidence based on the facts. These, of course, are different charges than for Derek Chauvin. Um, how are they different? And is Derek Chauvin pretty much on trial here as well? It's interesting you say that. The, 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 this is a federal case, which is slightly different in that it's not so much what they did, but what they didn't do. Mm -hmm. So they, they, the argument is that, the, that Floyd had civil rights, and they were violated by these officers not coming to intervene, and they willfully deprived him of his civil rights. And yes, it, certainly, Chauvin is going to be on trial here. He's the one in jail. And if I were the defense lawyer for these three officers, I would make the really strong argument that the guy guy that did this is in jail. We're not the right people. He's the culpable party. The judge, though, at the very beginning told jurors don't even consider the Chauvin guilty verdict at all. Look at it differently. So how's the defense going to handle that? And you've got three men on trial. Should they have done three different trials or should they all be on trial at the same time in your eyes? It, it, I think that it's important that they all get tried together because it was a piece. One, it was a one was one action, mm -hmm. right? It wasn't three different things that happened to him. It was one scene. And listen, you know, the arguments are going to be that these people, there's two of them who were on their fourth or fifth shift only. The argument is going to be they weren't trained, and they're going to say their training was that Chauvin was the senior guy. He was the one leading what was going on, and they were trained. My the argument probably is going to be that for them. To to come and say, listen, move over, we're going to let this guy up, would have been a very dangerous thing, and they were trained not to do that. So that was what I expect the defense to be. Even though this man was yelling, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. It's, you know, and I think the laws are going to change here. I think that police officers are going to have a stronger and more recognized duty to intervene when they see something going on. Interestingly, one of the officers said, not once but twice, Chauvin, like, can you move him on his side? Can you move him on his side? Which kind of cuts both ways because he recognized that there was a problem, which he was trying to get Chauvin to do the right thing. On the other hand, once he knew something was wrong, he didn't do anything affirmatively to stop it. But the defense will be different from, for each defendant, won't it? A little bit, because a couple of them helped restrain uh, George Floyd. Um, and, and each one is going to, yes, there are going to be different facts in each of these cases. But my guess is that they're going to try to stay together. They're going to be in lockstep, because it's better for all of them to say, we were new on the job, we were less senior, and the guy that you want is already in jail. Because of COVID, the judge says he wants this to be quickly, keep attorneys, keep things tightened up. But do you believe this will be a quick um, trial? Well, they're talking about four weeks. Uh, I believe this federal judge is going to keep it on a tight rein. There are no cameras in the courtroom, unfortunately. I really wish we could see this because this is a high-profile case that, that caused protests across the world, not yeah. only in this country. So it really kind of hurts me that we don't have the, the transparency that we would like. Uh, but I think it's going to go, you know, four weeks, three weeks is probably going to be, um, you know, how, how it goes. All right, Karen Conti of Conti Law. We appreciate it. Be safe, be well. Sure, Mike. Take care. Still ahead.